Hi Cougars, I'm Maddie and this is the Cougar Campus News. Hey students, next Tuesday, January 23rd is a Super Tuesday. Students will attend all seven classes and it is a minimum day schedule with a release time of 12.30 p.m. Because of this, on Monday, January 22nd, students will attend their regular Tuesday schedule for periods 1, 3, 5, and 7 with a release time of 3.30 p.m. The winter formal is just around the corner. Is there someone you are wanting to ask? Can't find the words or the right way to ask? Avid 3 has got your back. The Avid 3 Club will be selling winter formal grams today, Thursday, and Friday, this week at lunch in front of the MU. The price is $2 for one flower and $5 for three flowers. With our grams, you are sure to get a date to the formal. Now here's Mr. Nazar with his re weekly report. I come to you today with a little different perspective. Over the last couple days, this school and the school district has lost two people that have been vital to both the history and to the current working of our school. Mr. John Evans, longtime a music teacher that I, the person I, when I was teaching here in the 90s, we worked together. He was all the way from the 90s to the 2000s and to this uh, very recently, three years ago. He led our band, our music program, and truly it was one of the most influential people that you could ever meet. The students that had him loved him and it was well deserved. He cared about young people, he cared about the music he taught, but most importantly, he cared about them as individuals. Many will come back and say how much of an influence he had on their lives. I saw him a few weeks ago and this was a huge shock to me and my heart just goes out to him, well, obviously his family and all of those who know him, care about him and consider him a friend. Secondly, we also lost our system principal of curriculum instruction, uh, John Corey. Mr. Corey, I got to know in the early 2000s when he came here when I was the vice principal at Cunha. He had a very difficult job. He had to make some tough decisions, yet he always did it with caring, with humanity, uh, humor, and he was someone I think almost all of us greatly respected and admired. His passing uh, two days ago, again, it just left my heart empty as I lost two people that I respect and two friends. So as we move forward, these are t uh, tough times for a lot of us. But as always, we're going to keep our focus, we're going to work hard, we're going to be kind to one another, and have a great day. Attention students in the musical. All students will be called Thursday night for music, and students interested in stage crew should sign up in the office and attend a lunch meeting today in Mr. Ward's room C8. Are you interested in creative writing? The Creative Writing Club is, accept is accepting poetry, short story, and visual art submissions for this year's Muse. Email Mr. Mullen with submissions or further questions and guidelines. Are you interested in helping out your fellow students and school? Are you interested in developing counseling skills? If so, please consider taking peer helpers next year. There will be information sessions today at lunch and on Friday the 19th at lunch in room D5. Stop by for more details. If you're interested in the oceans and the species that live in them, then you might want to take marine ecology next year. If you're thinking about taking marine ecology, you must come to a mandatory informational meeting on Friday, January 26th at lunch in Mr. Santoni's room, K5. We will be discussing the topics covered in the course, as well as the field, of, the field study component of the class. If you are interested in learning more about why you should take AP Biology next year, please attend the information session this Friday at lunch in Dr. Yerby's room, K4. We will discuss the course, requirements, and other fun stuff for the 2018 school year. All students interested in taking AP Physics, please attend the mandatory informational meeting in Mr. Stagg's class at lunch in K1 next Monday. Are you interested in environmental challenges facing the world? If so, you might be interested in taking AP Environmental Science next year. 
Find out more about the AP Environmental Science class by coming to an informational meeting today at lunch in Mr. Santoni's room, K5. We'll discuss the topics covered in the course, workload, and the types of labs, activities, and field trips that are part of this class. CSF will meet today at lunch in Ms. Blanton's room, class, uh, G10, and there will be an NHS meeting in Majora's class, C5, tomorrow at lunch. This Friday at lunch, there will be a fashion club meeting in D5, Ms. DeSantis' room. We will be having sweet treats as well. Now here's Ian with sports. HMB wrestler Ivan Ramirez collected his first varsity dual meet win, propelling the Cougar team to victory over Menlo Atherton. The dual meet win was the varsity team's 26th straight win. HMB JV wrestler, 115 pounds, Aiden Yu collected his first dual meet win, propelling over the Cougar team to victory over Menlo Atherton. The dual meet win is the JV team's 32nd straight win. Early release. Please release the JV boys basketball team today at 2 p.m. Now here's Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia Hint. Happy Wednesday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. The answer to yesterday's question was the movie Molly's Game. Congratulations to Ms. Kendall and her class. They were the fastest answer. Today, our trivia hint, American Novels. Watch your uh, email for the question from me and have a wonderful Wednesday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. And thanks to Ian today for remembering to come in. I didn't have to do the sports. Way to go, Ian.